Ciao, sono Hi, I'm Michele Cirillo, Product Specialist for the Handy Surgery line by Technomed Italia. I am pleased that you want to see the potential of our Morpheus surgical chair. Firstly, I am proud to say that it has been designed and made entirely in Italy by our staff. I will now plug it in. Once this is done, I only need to switch on the chair by pressing this button. Having done this, let me explain the fundamental difference between the Morpheus chair and a standard dental chair. As everyone knows, the standard dental chair has two motors for the lifting and lowering movement of the back and seat. This is rather limiting in surgery. And that is why our Morpheus chair has been equipped with standard four silent low voltage motors. Two for the classic movements of lifting and lowering of the back and seat. And two for lifting and lowering of the footrest and inclination of the Trendelenburg or anti shock position. This solution will allow you to position the patient in the best position for your work setting. How can you move the chair? In dentistry we are used to having a foot lever, while in surgery we use a foot pedal. Our Morpheus chair maintains the dentistry's tradition, with two foot levers on the back of the chair. The first activates the motors to lift and lower the chair, back and lift and lower. The other activates the lifting and lowering of the footrest or the anti-shock position. In addition to the two foot levers, we have also equipped our Morpheus chair with a 10-button remote control, which, as you can see, can be hooked onto the left side or the right side, as it has a spiral cable and can be used by the doctor or the assistant. If we look at the remote control panel, we can see two central buttons. These are used to position the chair, using only one action, into a reclined position. Or in a seated position, to facilitate lifting and lowering the patient. Another noticeable difference from the standard dental chair is that Morpheus is made entirely in stainless steel, without any grooves, as it is therefore easy and quick to sanitize. This also allows the use of aggressive disinfectants and will eliminate broken or yellowing plastic because, as you know, stainless steel does not deteriorate. The upholstery is available in 36 colors and is made by craftsmen from Marke. As you can see, the padding is 5 cm high. Less padding would not guarantee comfortable seating. Click below to see the colors and certification. We have equipped Morpheus with this insert to fill the space created when the back is fully lowered. Let's see. When we insert this, we create a bed. It is also possible to increase the overall length of the seating, moving the footrest by loosening the blocking lever. And so, by sliding it downwards, I can increase the seating. 
Clearly, the headrest is also adjustable and can be lifted by up to 15 centimeters. This knob allows rotating the headrest forward, ideal for people who are shorter, and very useful for children. We have also an optional headrest, easy to change. Let's see now. Why did we make this headrest? Because this has an oval insert. When I remove it, I have an open space, allowing the patient to lie flat when the chair is fully extended. Now, let me show you a very important detail in this chair. We can see how, if I put the chair into the bed position, pulling up the entire chair, you can see how the patient's head is positioned one meter from the floor. This is different to a standard chair, that is a maximum of 80 to 82 centimeters. This allows us to work also standing up. Note how the column of our chair is able to lift up to 200 kilos. The other foot lever we have allows us to change the inclination by 10 degrees into the Tredelburg or anti-shock position. Quindi semplicemente con quella leva ho messo il paziente in posizione anti-shock. Another very important thing you will have noticed is that in the lifting nelle movimentazioni di salita or lowering movements of this chair or on the footrest, the Trendelenburg position, the axis of the patient's head is always in the same position. This is possible thanks to the movement of the four motors, which would be totally impossible in a standard chair, because a standard chair has a pantograph system to permit all the various movements, and this moves the patient's head forwards or backwards. What does this mean? It means that I must just always adjust something, the arm of the instrument tray, or the light or the stool, either backwards or forwards, to always have the best position at the head of the patient. The stability of the Morpheus chair is guaranteed by a reinforced base and compensation pistons, which considerably reduce oscillation while working. When you enter the settings for the chair, by clicking here below, you will be able to choose the various options which I will illustrate now. The chair we are speaking about has four feet. These lift the base of the floor in order, firstly, to allow the stool and the dentist's feet to fit easily under the chair and, secondly, to be able to sanitize the floor properly. In maniera comoda il pavimento. Available options include having four wheel with brakes instead of the four feet, which would allow moving the chair easily into a post-operative area, by simply unplugging the Shuko plug, connecting it to the mains. Inoltre, Furthermore, if we add an uninterruptible power supply to the optionals, it will be possible to move the chair even when there is no power for an hour. With the wheels option, we have also included a stability plate, which will let you lift the back wheels of our Morpheus chair simply by activating the knob to move the chair. I can choose the rotation option by moving this lever. To rotate our chair by 100 degrees on its axis. 
This will allow the patient's head to be completely free and above the floor. The back of the chair has been designed to allow the doctor's knees to fit nicely beneath the chair. Now let's look at the armrests. It is possible to choose a left or a right standard armrest, where the right armrest is pivoting and one of the two armrests has a rest for blood tests anchored to the side on a guide, like the ones we can see assembled now. The advantage of these armrests is that they can be positioned in any way. Assembly is easy with this knob and this guide. And once assembled, it allows me to slide the clamp. Moving the armrest up or down, depending on the height of the patient or the type of operation that is needed. I can also move it away or bring it closer to the chair. Therefore, I can adapt the armrests in many different ways to allow the patient to be as comfortable as possible for the entire duration of the operation. Now, let us see the IV drip stand. Here we have the ID drip stand support on both sides, on the left guide and on the right guide. We will simply insert our drip stand into here. Tighten this knob and anchor our drip stand. The drip stand support has been designed to also include the insertion of the leg support, which will be inserted exactly into the same point where the drip stand was, and it is possible to adjust by moving the sliver. It is also possible to move the leg rest by turning this knob, allowing the leg rest to move in any direction, and so our surgical chair can become a gynecological chair. The introduction video shows that the strong point for our Morpheus chair is that it is suitable for any medical use. We believe that an operating room must be 100% operational and that we cannot afford to leave a chair empty. I have nothing more to add. If you need any other information, please contact us by clicking here. If instead you want information on the other apparatus in this line, you'll have to wait for the next video. Thank you. Bye for now. Michele Cirillo, Product Specialist for the Handy Surgery line by Technomed Italia.